also are members of the society and and it's lovely just to reminisce and talk about things so yeah. i think people will find it is it is a it's a friendly bunch of people yes yeah oh, absolutely mm. fantastic all oh, right okay but i mean how so you've got your planning committees you've got everything else involved mm. within the society which which is fantastic i mean a lot of topics recently um the supermarket one of course is the one is the biggest yeah mm. i mean it's, it wasn't just tesco's and there was asda mm. and now mm. there's approval obviously for a supermarket on the i believe on so, the railway yes. side yes which to me i, I find slightly irrational mm. um a for the, for the lack of space and two for the chaos it's going to cause and mm. on that junction so mm. i don't know what what are the thoughts of your members on that i think um talking to a number of members i think there were a mixture of views mm. and obviously i think people had the opportunity both with the tesco's issue and the other one to yeah. be able to give their views to the local councillors mm. and i know that people did do that yeah uh, and i know also that some members went along to some of the meetings yes um so i think society has a presence there mm. but i think you know with over 500 members i think mm. people were able to to give their yeah, views definitely. and i think you know 500 people in felixstowe I think yeah. it's it's quite important and quite significant that their views are taken into account. Definitely, totally. Mm. And again, of course, we um, sort of another thought again in my mind is uh, it's, it's looking absolutely amazing. But the new um, medical centre, of course, at the Grove. At the Grove, yes. Mm. Yeah, I mean that's right by um, Abbey Grove. Yes. Um, but obviously, it's not it's not at the moment impacting on that. But I'm no. hoping that more people will 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 realise where that place is, where Abbey Grove is, yes, and exactly. be able to go round exactly. the back there. Exactly. Um, but again, I, you know, it would be it would be silly, wouldn't it, for a town just to sort of stagnate. So oh, no, in a way, I think definitely. it's a good idea that we are getting these new developments. But yeah. I think from society's point of view, we've got to make sure that they're done to the highest possible standards. Yeah. And that they they sort of blend in with all, all the wonderful architecture that we do already have here. Exactly. All the Victorian buildings, for example. We've, we still we've have got there. some amazing Victorian. I mean, You're obviously, right, yeah. there's nothing here mm. in Felixstowe until... Obviously, the late 1800s, mm. um, it was Walton, there was Trimley, but there wasn't any Felixstowe. Mm. Um, it was obviously the port mm. and then certain historical events that put yes. Felixstowe on the map. Yes. Um, we do give annual brilliant. awards. To, we call them the Enhancement of the Environment Awards. Right. And uh, they're given annually, and there are nominations given to the committee by members. And this year... Um, there were three winners because we, we mm. really couldn't decide between the three. Okay. So uh, we gave an award to the extension to the Bethesda Church. Yeah. We also gave mm -hmm. an award to the new walkway around Cobbles Point, which I think is, is wonderful. Yes, it and is. And we also gave an award to uh, Tim and Maria Brennan for their new house right, on okay. Lakes Avenue, which is, is um, very environmentally friendly. Mm. So mm. that's another way in which society tries to promote high standards in terms of new developments yeah, in, yeah, in Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, as, again, looking back, I mean, before anything like this, I can look back again at some, some amazing houses which are no longer there. Mm. And mm. to me, that's always really, really sad. Mm. So uh, I should imagine, hopefully, in the society, that's something, again, you're stopping and trying to discourage. And Well, again, we, we just look at planning applications mm. and then we make yeah. our comments. And I know the planning committee do look at those applications yeah. very seriously. Mm. And they, as I say, they make very useful comments. Mm. But I think also, for example, buildings are no longer there. Um, we have a system of plaques around Felixstowe, which obviously mark places where perhaps significant no. buildings used to be. I didn't realise that. that. That's interesting. And I'm hoping to put a list on the website yeah, very yeah. soon of all the mm. plaques around there. So, for example, the most recent one was the one which commemorates um, Wally Simpson staying at Beach House, which yes, of course is no longer there and is that, now that's, Beach Place. That's right. Uh, we have So we don't have blue plaques. We have these sort of creamy white plaques which you'll see yes. around the town yes but i'm hoping to try and put a list together so people perhaps can can you know go on a trail and have a look at them because yeah. there again there's a lot of history connected with yes. that john mills for example but of course lived in john mills. he did you know? he definitely see um, he did his first theatrical performance at john's exactly. church hall yeah 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 def definitely mm. um go, going back to wallace simpson um i remember because that was then later, I think I'm right in saying, it was actually at Dr. Bernardo's home. Oh, was it? It was at Dr. Oh, Bernardo's right. home. And again, when I was bringing, so growing up, um, I used to help out in sort of some of the um, <laughs> fates and summer, summer, you know, the summer mm. fates and that sort of thing. And that was a lovely old house, you know. It was, yes, it I believe so. It had a lot so. of character yeah. about it. Mm. And, 
again, so sad to see that mm. disappear. But there was quite a lot of controversy, though, wasn't there? Oh, when it awful was, lot of controversy. Um, being demolished. Yes, awful lot of controversy. Mm. You know, it was, um, as I say, that it was definitely, mm. I think the town council definitely wanted it to disappear, mm. but local people didn't. I mm. mean, one, for the, for the history, mm. and two, because it was a beautiful building. Yes. I mean, you couldn't actually see that much from it from the road, because it had a big high wall in front of it. Right. Mm. Um, but it was there. You used mm. to go through this little side gate, walk up these steps, and there it was. Oh. Yeah. But I know in her letters, Wallace Simpson was quite dismissive of Felix Stowe, wasn't Very she? much so. She Very just didn't much like so. this town at all. She did didn't she? like it. No, she, she couldn't get out. I think that the idea was it was too cold for her. Um, she used to go down on, onto the beach mm. and with a couple of companions. It was always known as a couple of companions. Mm. Whether one of those companions was, in fact... Um, Apparently he visited, he visited, I believe. So, I believe he yes, visited, he but it was never yes. mentioned who her companions were. Exactly. Yes. Um, but she felt she was too restricted, and there was not enough there for her to do. Yeah. So, yeah, I find that very, very mm. interesting. Mm. <laughs> well, I haven't been round to see all the plaques yet, but I, yeah. I must do so as soon as you know, I've put mm. this list up. Because, again, I think that's just... Uh, uh, looking at some very significant people and significant events. Yes, definitely, definitely. Mm. I mean, some John, John Mills, um, I, I believe he was actually, he was born here. I think he was born here. I mean, I'm not quite sure. I know he grew up here as a child. I think he spent a part of his, his childhood child here. child here, here. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, I know he's definitely sort of did, did his first theatrical performance, as I said, at St John's Hall. Mm. And I, think, I, can't remember. I knew he lived in one of the town roads but I'm, I'm not quite sure which one it was not quite sure but when but we, when you see all the plaques you'll be able to go I've got go to do it it's got to be yeah. it's got to be yeah. done it's got to be done mm -hmm. um so maybe one Sunday morning I'll take myself yes. out and uh, mm. have a little look let's see I've learned something from there <laughs> <laughs> so going forward Felix Society how, how can you see this probably expanding even more and have you any ideas or yes we have um talked about having a youth section because um mm. as a, as a, an ex deputy head I'm, yeah. I'm very very keen that um we get young the young people involved in 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 appreciating their town much more than yes definitely than possibly they might do um and i know quite a lot of them will obviously obviously go to university and some of them may come back and some may not so yeah um phil Haben and i are hoping to um, put together a presentation for uh, some of the youngsters in Felix to get them involved in, yes. in what society does and and perhaps get them involved in some kind of project but that's mm. something that we will be discussing at the next uh, committee meeting yeah yeah i think i think that's a brilliant idea uh, because basically young people i mean looking at my children growing up i mean they're always interested in their roots mm. and I encouraged mm. them because I, I lived in Trimley and I used to encourage them we used to walk and there were so many interesting names mm. lane names oh yes gunpowder yes. lane being yes. definitely one of them it was a case of why did it get the name why did it get the mm. name so you mm. looked into the history and yes there was a gun a dynamite mm. gun yeah had a factory down there mm. many many years which unfortunately blew up and killed a couple of people but I mean <laughs> it was there and that's how it got his name but it's <laughs> And of course, yeah. anybody who joins society under eighteen, it's free. So ah, even right. better that's, deal. That's even worse. Um, no, but yeah. again, you know, we 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 would like to get more members. You mm. know, we are we're very happy for people mm. to join. And um, I would just suggest that either they uh, looked on the website or they came to one of our um, our meetings in the evening. Yes, and, and they would be very warmly welcome. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much, Bev. I think it's you, a pleasure. You've given Thank a you. Complete. Thank you. Amazing insight. I mean, I've learned something. That's for sure. And. Great. I'm definitely going to go back on the website and uh, learn a bit more again. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.